I find it really strange that gratitude in and of itself is something that we're not really taught of, taught about, sorry, as children. We're taught to say please and thank you and be polite, but the art of being grateful just by default, I feel is like extremely overlooked because principally that's all manners are, right? It, it's gratitude. However, the way in which I perceive gratitude kind of... It's a lot deeper than manners. It's a lot deeper than manners. And it's something that when practiced on a regular basis, I feel can serve you every single day throughout life. And one of, if not the most important ways I believe gratitude should be utilized. And one of the ways I believe it is extremely overlooked is in social interactions we're not well practiced we it's not normal for us to express gratitude for things that are seemingly minor like why do we not express how grateful we are for somebody sacrificing their time to just explain something to us be with us do something with us why do we not express gratitude on a regular basis for somebody's presence? <laughs> not just the time that they've that they've expelled, so to speak, by being with us, but their presence, their energy, their aura, how they make you feel. It's it's almost strange to some people to be told, like, nah, bro, thank you. I I, I appreciate uh for example, I appreciate you um, teaching me this. Um, and I really appreciate you, man. Honestly, like, I feel like if it wasn't for meeting you, I wouldn't have learned X, Y, Z. So, like, thank you, bro. You've reminded me this. Why don't we hear that very often? Why is it... Why isn't it normal for somebody to just be like, yo, I really appreciate you doing that for me and thank you. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't take away from us at all it literally only empowers it empowers the person and it empowers you it takes a confident person to be gra grateful right it takes a confident person to be able to express gratitude to another person yet we shy away from it and i believe we shy away from it the majority of the time because of fear like we live in, we live, I believe we live in two states. We either live in a state of love or we either act, sorry, from two states, either from a state of love or a state of fear. You betray someone, it's because you're scared of this, that, and the third. Um, you express gratitude to somebody, it's because you feel love in that moment. Um, and I feel like, again, love is a term that has been, I believe, somewhat blown out of proportion. Um, and we've been made to feel like you're soft if you express love or gratitude. Whereas I believe it's the complete opposite. I look at the people who are brave enough and courageous enough to say to me what they appreciate about me and what they appreciate about their experience with me. I see them as strong, courageous individuals, people that are not afraid to experience i guess what you could say an element of rejection because that's what stops us in my opinion and in my experience most of the time from being grateful from expressing the fact that they are okay like yeah okay i'll use i'll use today as an example um the only reason in which i didn't express gratitude to this lady who skips at my gym, she's an insane skipper. She looks like she competes. She does some wild shit with a skipping rope. The only reason I didn't, I wanted to, I thought about it. I looked for an opportunity and it didn't present itself to me. So I didn't do it. And therefore I acted out of fear. The only reason I didn't go up to her and be like, yo, like, that, thank you for being so good at skipping. Like, I feel really inspired to evolve my ability to skip because of watching you the only reason i didn't do that was because i acted out of fear right and then on the flip side every single 
beautiful relationship that I've created throughout life or any of us have created throughout life we've acted from a place of love if we've met that person uh, as a complete stranger and just decided to go up to them and say something that you admired about them and then that sparked a friendship then you have you have gained that you have gained that through simply acting from a place of love so yeah man like I don't see I don't see why we why we why we hide why we shy away from being grateful because for me that demonstrates strength the man that consistently voices gratitude to his environment I look at him and admire him and I feel how would I put it I feel an element of pride to be in his presence because he's not afraid. And I don't want to be surrounded by people who are afraid. I don't want to be surrounded by people who live in a state of fear. I want to be surrounded by people who are brave and courageous. The type of people you feel like you want to go to war with. And gratitude can can demonstrate that, man. It, it really can. It's This is just my perception of it in like one realm, one area. Um... I'm not, I can't be bothered to be quite frank, to go into today, like, how I feel gratitude benefits you internally in your own mind. But I'm sure you could kind of figure it out and we'll we'll talk about that one day, I'm sure. I'm sure we will. But yeah, man, be grateful. Don't be afraid to tell the homies, like, yo, I got love for you, bro. Like, I appreciate you and I appreciate this about you. This is why I'm drawn to you. This is why I enjoy spending time with you. This is why I like sacrificing my time in order to spend it with you. This is why I enjoy giving you any information I have, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, man, be grateful. Don't be afraid to be grateful. And if somebody thinks you're soft or weird for demonstrating gratitude, then fuck them. Tell them to go stick it where the sun don't shine. To be quite frank, they're just cowards, bro. So yeah, be grateful. And with that said, thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate you making it this far, if you have made it this far. And as you well know, I shall see you tomorrow.